Welcome everyone to Yoga with Dogs 30 Day Challenge. Today we are doing our beautiful slow flow. So we're going to get straight into it today. Come on into standing or start standing. Press into our big toes, spread our little toes, activate our kneecaps, tuck our tailbone under, our palms are wide, our fingertips reach down, close down the eyes and find your mountain pose. Start to bring your awareness into the present, into the body, into the breath. And start to feel your inhale, feel the belly and the ribs, the collarbones. And exhale, soften and release. Inhale. And exhale. All together, big arm circle, nice and slow here. Fingertips touch. And exhale, back to heart center. Slow flow, nice and slow on our inhale here. Big arm circle, fingertips touch. And exhale. Really savour the sensation, move slowly with intention and grace. Inhale, reach high from the shoulder blades down the back and exhale. Once more we're going to inhale, hands high, grab our left wrist, place weight into our right foot and we're going to send our left foot back behind us, bending our right knee. Sending our hips towards the left and our hand towards the right. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, lean. Inhale. Nice and slow. Exhale. Inhale, rise up. Bring that foot back to center. Palms together. And back to heart center. Place our thumb on our sternum. Shoulder blades down the back. Connect to that rise and fall of our breath. One more in, up. big arm circle up overhead, nice and slow, fingertips touch. Grab our right wrist, weight into our left foot. Our right foot goes behind us, our left knee bends and we're exhaling, leaning over towards the left, hip goes towards the right. Inhale. And exhale. Low Danny. Inhale. And exhale. Come on up, reach high. Fingertips touch and exhale, palms back to heart center. You're all excited because you just got a really nice treat. Hey darling. One more big arm circle. Inhale, up over fingertips touch. Next, how we're going to fold forward, but really slowly here. Bend our knees, hands wide, really take our time, savor the sensation. Hinging at the hips, you might grab your ankles, you might have your hands on blocks, you might be able to touch the ground, come to wherever feels good. Sway side to side here. Release the weight quite literally off our shoulders. And then already bend our knees, really push into all four corners of the feet, navel towards spine, roll on up. Hands wide, up overhead, fingertips touch, and back to heart center. Once more, inhale, hands up overhead, fingertips touch. We're going wide, palms wide, fold four. Once again, hinge at the hips, savor the sensation. Rock side to side. You can have the knees really bent and the belly resting on the thighs if you need that for the straight spine. You might start to slowly straighten your legs. Just play here. Relaxing the shoulders, the neck. You might shake the head, yes and no. Really release. And already bend our knees generously, roll on up, vertebra by vertebra. Hands wide, up overhead, fingertips touch. And exhale, back 
to heart center. Now place our hands on our hips. Take one foot wide and then the other. Bend our knees here. Hands go down our knees. Just play here nice and gentle. Inhale, find length. Right shoulder towards our left knee. So exhale, twist. Push in that right hand to your right knee. Gaze goes towards the side of the room or to the roof. Oh, it feels so nice. Inhale, come back to center, nice and slow. Left shoulder to right knee, push into that knee, gaze goes towards the left or towards the roof. And come back to center. Right to left. And back to center. And left to right. And back to center. Nice. Lengthen the legs here. Turn the toes in. So we've just got a wide-legged stance. You might actually even take it a little wider if that feels good for you. Hands on our hips. Nice and long here. I'm going to fold forward in our wide-legged stance this time. So you might have a chair or a block or anything that helps. So hinge at the hips, navel towards spine, micro bend in the knees if you need. Folding forward. Beautiful, hands can be in front of your face. You might walk your feet a bit wider. And see if you can send the weight into the balls of your feet instead of the heels. It'll help you fold, hinging at the hips more easily. Ah, oh, it feels really nice. When we're ready, gently walk the hands underneath the face if they're not already. Push on up, navel towards spine, and roll on up. Big arm circle, fingertips touch. And exhale back to heart center. So I'm just going to wriggle my stance in a little here. So just find your comfortability here. Inhale, find length. We're going to turn our, I'll mirror you, we're going to turn our right, our left toes out to the left. And our back foot comes to 45 degrees. Our hands go to our hips and we turn them to the left side, bending that front knee. Warrior one. So activate this back leg, tuck our tailbone under, and then our arms go up. Beautiful. Flow here, inhale. And exhale, bend that front knee. Inhale, straighten that front leg, activating the feet. And exhale. Good girl, Danny. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come up, lengthen. We're gonna take the hands, to the hips or even behind the back, wherever feels good for you. We're going to peer forward. So we're coming into our pyramid pose. So we can peer forward just past our big toe here. Beautiful side body stretch here, activating this kneecap, pushing into the big toe. So you might stay here with the hands behind your back or on your hips. You might take your hands down onto a block or you might even take them down to the ground. For keeping the spine long on our inhale and exhale, folding forward a little more. Inhale and exhale. Oh, that feels so nice. Inhale and exhale. Wherever we are, gently bend that front knee. Come back into our warrior one. Nice. We're going to turn those toes to the front. Finding our fold forward here. So our toes are in pigeon a little bit. Our hands come to our hips. We find our length. And gently fold forward in a nice wide-legged forward fold here. Relax here and release. You might shake side to side. If you'd like, put your left hand in front of your face. Rise your right hand up, twisting here. Breathing. And when you're ready, put your right hand down in front of your face. Find length in the spine and exhale. Left hand up, no kisses. Good girl. Breathing here. And place that hand down. When we're ready, bend our knees generously. Roll on up. Big arm circle up overhead. Fingertips touch. And exhale back to heart center. When we're ready, hands on our hips. We're going to turn our right toes to the right. Left toes to 45 degrees. Warrior one the other way. Inhale, arms up overhead and gently flow. Find length. And sink. Length. And sink. Length. 
and sink and hold here. Now bring your hands to your hips or to your lower back. Straighten this front leg coming into our pyramid pose. So we can just lean forward here gently, peering over our big toe. We might place our hands on blocks. We might be able to reach them down. Find length and exhale, soften. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. When you're ready, bend this front leg, push into your feet, roll on up, warrior one once more. Turn your toes to the front of the room. Nice, and we're gonna turn our heels in and our toes out this time. So find our space, place our hands in a circle in front of us. So clasp our hands together. Imagine we're hugging a barrel here. So we're kind of chilling out here, playing. And when we're ready, Inhale, find length, we're coming up. And exhale, sink down into a squat. So our navel towards our spine, our tailbone is tucked under to protect our lower back. You'll really feel the legs activating here as you find that nice straight spine. Inhale, come up. And exhale, lower. Inhale. And gently and slowly flow down. One more, inhale and exhale when we're ready rise on up hands up overhead take them wide and walk your feet back into heart center into feet center not heart center you know what i mean when we're ready just gently sway your arms side to side massage the body wriggle side to side And when we're ready, come to centre, big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch, exhale, palms wide. Now we're going to take our feet a little bit wider than hip distance again, and we're coming into a squat. So we've practiced this one before, sinking our hips down, and you might be like, that does not happen that easily, Melody. Grab a chair, grab a block to put it under. We might be on our tippy toes here with our hands in front. Just play, and it's really, really important for hip mobility and hip strength. Squatting is really, really good. So just go to wherever feels good for you. Working on it incrementally is amazing. So come on down. Our hands might be in front. Might be finding length in the spine. We might have our palms at heart center. Find wherever we are. Breathing here. Inhale, finding length. And exhale, softening and releasing. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Release on down. Rock on back onto our buttocks. Nice and chill. We're going to come in to our boat pose here. So come on, I'll just twist this side so you can see me. Grab our thighs. We're going to come up, squeeze the knees together. Squeeze the feet together, shoulder blades down the back, spine is long, into our Navasana, our boat pose. So you might just stay here, or you might take the arms off to play, or you might be able to kick one leg along and then the other. Just play, find what feels good for you. Inhale, and exhale, lower down. Beautiful. Bring the soles of the feet together, the knees wide. I'll turn this way for you. Coming in to our butterfly pose. We always do our reclined butterfly, but we'll do actual butterfly for once. Our thumbs in the soles of our feet, those fleshy parts of our feet, find length in our spine. And what we're gonna do is exhale, gently send the knees away. So the knees down and we peel our feet, kind of like opening a book. So inhale, find that length. And exhale, see if we can send the knees down and away. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Bring the knees up. The feet are at hip distance apart. Put the heels into the ground this time. Grab the soles of the feet. You might just grab the ankles. Find length in the spine wherever we are. So the chest and the belly rest on the thighs, leaning forward, relaxing the head between our knees. A nice fold forward variation. And you're ready, roll on up. Make your way onto your back. So come on down, roll on down, feet in towards the hips, 
fingertips towards the heels and we're going to come into our bridge pose. So inhale, find length, tuck the tailbone under and exhale, send the hips up and away. You might wriggle the shoulder blades under, chin towards chest always. And our knees are squeezing in towards one another so they're not flopping out the side. Inhale, push a little higher. And exhale, soften. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And roll down and release. We're going to bring our right toes underneath our left shin. Kind of in that gap and see if we can grab our right toes with our left fingertips sending that right knee down beautiful stretch here you might send your gaze up just to see your hip your hip and knee are in alignment relaxing here breathing inhale and exhale inhale and exhale. When you're ready, bring that foot back to center. Kick it up towards the sky. Just point and flex the feet. Roll the ankle, shake the leg. If we place it on the ground. Bring our left toes towards our right foot. Grab it here. Send that left knee down. Look up. See our hip and, hip and knee in alignment. Relax back down and just gently release. Find that connection to our slowness, connection to our breath. Savoring all sensations, because we don't need to do it quickly. We don't need to be like, oh, I need to get onto the next pose. I want you to be really present in each movement you take. Really savor its, move, savor its sensation, savor its foundation. Align yourself, take that time to move, notice the sensations. And just breathe. When you're ready, release that foot, kick it into the air, point and flex the feet, play here, roll the ankle. And when you're ready, place it on the ground. When we're ready, we're going to bring our right knee into our chest and our left leg long. Just wriggle the knee here, play. When you're ready, send your right arm out long. Keep your left hand on your right knee and just gently twist your way over towards the left. Keep our gaze towards our right fingertips, our right shoulder down, and just gently breathe and release. Inhale, feel the belly, the ribs, the collarbones. And exhale, soften and release. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Gently bring that knee back up to center. Give yourself a squeeze. Roll side to side. Take that leg long. And when you're ready, bring your left knee in towards your chest. Give yourself a really big hug, a wriggle side to side. Notice the sensations. We'll send our left fingertips long, shoulder down, fingertips touching the ground. Right hand stays on our left knee. And we're twisting our knee the opposite way to our gaze. So our gaze goes, stays on our left fingertips and our knee goes towards the right. So just, oh, that feels lovely. Just relax and breathe here. You might even give your leg a pat. Just saying thanks to your body for all the work it does for you each and every day. Breathing and releasing deeper and deeper. And already bring that knee back to center. Give yourself a hug. Rock it side to side. You might bring the right one back in as well. And ready, send the legs up overhead. Really stretch. And relax down onto the mat. Now you might have the legs long. You might have the soles in together. Gently breathe, relax and release. Inhale, feel the belly, the ribs, the collarbones. And exhale, let go. Gently focus on the rise and fall of your breath. 
Inhale, fill your belly, ribs, the collarbones. And exhale, soften and release. Inhale, fill the belly, the ribs, the collarbones. And exhale, soften and release. Gently send the legs long if they're in, reclined pigeon. Send the hands up overhead. Stretch the fingers. <laughs> Nell kisses, Papa. Stretch the fingers and toes. When we're ready, roll over onto a side that suits you. And come up to seated. And we're ready, all oh, big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch. And back to heart center. Find your slow today, my beautiful yogis, sending you love and gratitude. Namaste. Now you might keep your hands on your hips. Hello, chicken. Hello. You might be getting kisses.